hi everybody and welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're new here today i literally bought so many of the christmas drinks i'm so excited to try them um i didn't get them all just because that's like a lot of drinks to try in one day i think we might do a part two but i was hearing such good things about these they came out today it is thursday october or it is thursday november 3rd and i wanted to get them before our sells out because i feel like our sells out so fast yeah they do so we got them they're baby sizes but this is enough to try for us so these are all in hots mainly because i want to be able to drink these after we get home and like i don't want to waste all this so i got them in a hot instead of a cold so they didn't get watered down but the first one we're going to try is the caramel brulee Is it good? Oh yeah. Let me try it. Oh yeah. I spent thirty-five dollars on all this. Starbucks is expensive. It is expensive, but I told him I said it doesn't really matter though because our order alone usually is around twenty dollars anyway. So an extra fifteen dollars to have six drinks compared to two and a bakery item is better than whatever this one is i think the sugar almond. cookie almond latte That's what i think they had this last year and i wasn't like a huge fan of the almond almond but i'm gonna give it another try not good. <laughs> it's not my favorite like i don't like that almond taste i do not like it with my coffee it's just not very good i don't know what do you think? Do you it's like it? Bad. I don't think it's bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think this is the peppermint mocha. I always good. love these. Uh, they're the best. But I like the uh, iced peppermint mochas with sweet cream cold foam on top because. See, this is why Starbucks gets so expensive because you have to add the extras. The extras is what makes the drinks. These are just oh, the yeah. basic drinks right now, so no wonder I'm not loving them. But they're still not bad. Is that what you said, the peppermint mocha one? That can never go wrong. Never go wrong. The peppermint mocha is my favorite. It is my favorite. I think it always tastes like hot chocolate. Oh, my God, yeah. And uh, you know what, though? If you're comparing it to hot chocolate... I make the best hot chocolate. Yeah, you do. 100% I make the best hot chocolate. Um, and anybody can argue with me on that, and I would just prove you down, damn wrong. Like, I would prove you wrong. I will make you a thing of hot chocolate. I literally have been thinking so much about doing Vlogmas this year, which is probably going to be hard because your girl, she works. But I was thinking, like, how fun it would be to, like, make little holiday treats and do videos about it and everything and whatever moving on because i'm talking what is this the trust the chestnut praline did we already try that no we tried a different one brulee or something okay. so good okay we should be writing them or do you want to like wait till the end and then rate them we'll write we'll write them all at the end we'll retake a drink and yeah. then rate them and then i'll like make a list of what i think my favorite is One. You don't like it? No. Okay. This is the last one right here. How? Oh, well, not the last one. We also have this. Okay. And this is the... What is this? I don't know. Toasted something? White toasted white mocha? Sugar cookie? Sugar... I'll put the name right here, guys, because <laughs> I can't remember what this one is. Um, but we'll see. This one makes me feel all warm inside. Does like, that's so Christmas. That is Christmas. This one's definitely Christmas. Yeah. It makes me feel very warm inside. And the only cold drink that we got is this. And I didn't get it in a coffee because when he drinks frappes, he likes cream-based. So, it's kind of melty, but... Oh, and this is the... 
that frappe. I'll put the name around here. I, I don't know the abbreviations, guys. Is it good? Literally tastes like a vanilla shake. Like it's... I like this one. Obviously, he likes that one. He's ice mm. cream. All right, now let's go back through them and rate them. So this one, which is... I think it is like the toasted white mocha or something. Well, SH. We'll just put put whatever it is numbers. Okay. I give this one like a, a uh, an eight. An eight. About, yeah, probably an eight. I really like that one. I think I would enjoy it a lot more if it was a cold uh, iced coffee with some cr sweet cream cold foam, some extra. Um, well, which one white. is it? You didn't say which one it was. I told you I don't know the abbreviations. I'll put it down there. Oh, yeah. You're right. That's one you This is like. the... Yeah, the almond. I say with like a two. Like, I do not like that. Maybe it would be better if it was a... Yeah, I give it a five. A five? Maybe... I'll have to try the cold one, like the ice one, and then like re-tell you guys what I think. But as a warm drink with no extras in it, a freaking two a two i don't like it i think it tastes bland kind of is my thing yeah the caramel uh brulee nine i give it a nine because i think this one's gonna be amazing cold and it's amazing hot and it's hard to find like really good hot coffees because i always feel like they all taste like doo-doo that's why i usually always get them 8.5 yeah and then the peppermint mocha, a seven. You literally, <laughs> never mind. What, what? I already had seven in my head for this one because I remember what it tastes like from the beginning. A seven, I the reason I give it a seven. Definitely seven. It's because I feel like the peppermint in it is kind of bitter. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not it's like. It's too overwhelming. Yeah, it's me. like an overwhelming peppermint. It's not. It's not very sweet peppermint. I, yeah, I just like it just tastes like you took a sugar-free peppermint and put it in your mouth. And if I'm drinking these coffees, I want them to bring my sugar up at least to a 500. Like <laughs> we, we have to be sugaring. Which one is that? The chestnut praline. I have that one at eight too, or mm, I give that one a, a seven. Six. Six. What's your favorite? Well, we gotta try this. This one. is a toasted white mocha. I remember the name of the first one. Well, we gotta try this one now. That's a toasted white mocha frappe. I give this a ten. <laughs> it's a ten all day. Get out of here. It's just a vanilla shake. Like it's amazing. 10 every day mm. so day. honestly i think that they all taste really good well not all of them like you don't like the almond one obviously. i don't like the <laughs> almond one like the that one. that's 10 that's a 10 that's yeah i said that's a 10 yeah it was it was pretty good i think i'm gonna do it again i think i'm gonna get the other ones just so we can try them and see what they taste like And this is when awkwardness starts happening. Can they notice that we're like recording, you think? Yeah. How? I don't know, good. But anyways, yeah, I'm definitely loved. Stop worrying about it. They're like coming over here. Did I literally just drive away because people were gonna be looking at us? They're yes. playing basketball. But yeah, we're parked in a park and they pulled up beside us and like got out to go play basketball. And I was like, this is awkward. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to get the rest of them or at least try to try the ones that we haven't tried and make another video. If that's something you would like to see, let me know because I'm always down to drink Starbucks. Oh, always. Um, Literally. Like when me and him first got together, he hadn't even ever been to Starbucks. And let me tell you, um, I've turned him into a Starbucks queen. We used to go at least three times a week. He literally will ask me when we're driving. He'll be like, you want to stop and get a Starbucks? And he'll be like... 
because I guess he thought like I come up with Starbies. He goes, where did the word Starbies come up come with? Did you like just make that up? And I'm like, no, like everyone says that, Brayden. <laughs> like it, it's just a Starbies. So like now he's getting his Starbies all the time. But yeah, um, this was really fun. And here comes more people. Obviously, they're going to. You feel awkward too. Well, yeah, because they looked directly at me and they stuck their tongue out and stuff. Oh yeah, um, I really feel like this was such a good way to start the Christmas season. And I don't want to hear all you Grinches in the comment saying, it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is one day. One day, Christmas. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. I am going to be having a Christmas uh, decor haul coming soon. We're kind of like collecting stuff right now. I need to go to Kohl's. I think it is because they have the cutest stockings. So I will be there to get them. And I'm still deciding on Vlogmas or not. I think we might try it. We might just have to pre-film some videos this year, uh, like this month of us like decorating the house for Christmas and stuff, and then upload them in throughout December. But yeah, that's it, unless you have anything to say. Definitely Fine, not. sir. No. No, you're good? Yeah. All right, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye.